Hello everybody, welcome to another video of me playing around with MSI Afterburner and Ice Ash Miner and today we are going to look at a different algorithm. We looked at um, Lyra2 Rev2 and let's look at Dagahash Motunal with Miner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, different clock speeds and see what effect it has on our on our global, uh, on our first on our hash rate and then on our global amount. So let us get started shall we? First let's select the appropriate algorithm. So you go to settings, then you go to devices algorithms, click on your graphics card. At the moment I only have one GTX 1017 here so if you have multiple graphics cards you can either multiply it, uh, multiply the hash rate, I'm guessing it'll work uh, reasonably accurately. Uh, I need to get my hands on a GTX 1060 so I can do the same. Until then, oh, let's just uh, stick with 1070s. Alright, so we're only going to look at Daga Hashimoto. Save and close. Settings saved. And let us... St st oh, is something is there we go. That's starting. Cool. Let's see what we get. Alrighty guys, so it looks like we settled on a speed of 23... Uh, come on now. 23.965. 23.965 Okay, and our global rate is looking at 0 0.22 0 0.2 Is there 0 0.2? Yeah, no, 2, 2 is fine Okay, this is our global rate over here This is M bits per day As you can see, it was a lot more fruitful back in the day But, hey, now we just do it for the fun of it Alright guys, let's crank it up a little bit Let's take our clock speed to plus Well, let me see if I can get it near 50 and oh yeah. All right. Let's see what effect it has. Okay, guys. So we've been running for a while, around about uh, five to six uh, minutes, and we've settled on a speed of twenty-four, twenty-four point two eight one two eight, and a global rate of zero point two three. Let's crank it up. see what the effect is. Okay guys, so we've settled on a value of 24 point, let's, let's give it 24 point 6, what was, what was 24.6 earlier, so I'll keep it at that, and a global rate of 0 0.23523. Two three six. This was two three, exactly. This was two three six. Well, almost two three. Okay, guys, cranking up for the last one. So we're gonna go to one thirty and one and two hundred for the memory clock. Two hundred exactly. <laughs> Alright guys, so after our final uh, increase in clock speed, we are looking at a speed of 25.4 approximately, and a global rate increase of 24, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 24 would be amazing. Wait a second, what is going on here? Looks like the speed has adjusted. Let's have a look at the log and see what's actually happening. Zero four five. Hmm. Guess that happens sometimes. All right, so we could take the original value of what it was here, six and nine. It could have been the difficulty increased, or the value has dropped, or something, something along those lines. But Let's go with the original amount we saw here, that's 25.4 and 2.4, and that gives us an increase of 6% in speed and 9% in global rate. So, overclocking still, still worth it. Um, yeah, it's actually almost 10% increase in your global rate. 
<clears throat> so I'd say you should have your clock, your cards, I don't know, in a, within a safe, within a safe threshold. Um, guys, also let me know how you overclock your cards. I've got this at 1.30 and 2.04. I think this is quite, uh, quite conservative. Uh, maybe we'll go a little bit higher in the next video with uh, Decred and LVRY and these uh, algorithms. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.